Hi guys, this is Abhishek and in this video, I will continue the conversation on the plot R charts and I have already published, as you know, two videos about uh, bar chart, how you can create and enhance the bar chart in Plotly library as well as the scatter chart. And in this series, this is, uh, uh, again, I'll tell you one of the basic chart is pie chart, which we usually use. And I will end this video with the donut chart. And then you can try your hands with the code again, as it is uh, shown over here, as well as you can uh, use this code to automate the entire piece in shiny as an exercise that you can take. All right. So first of all, what we need is the Plotly library. So library Plotly. And then uh, we will use one of the inbuilt data set, which is US expenditure. And you can see it, the data type or the data format. So it has the different categories like food and tobacco, household operations, and their respective number of years along with the data. So what do we need is, uh, it's basically creating a data frame that will suffice our needs or a create a simple table for our set in one column we have the categories in the second column we have the data so to do that what we are doing is we are creating a data frame out of it by using row names as category so row name is nothing but these are the ones which is row name so we are taking a categories as row names which is needed and using the data set which is US personal expenditure as the rest of the one for the rest of the columns with that uh, let's execute this first and then uh, once we have got the categories what we are doing is we are need, we basically extracting all the rows but only two columns which is category and the 1960 data so that will create a simple table of two columns with all the rows along with the category and 1960 data. After this, uh, this is a simple pie chart command. What it is doing is, is basically taking up this data set which we have created over here and then labels as category, values as 1960 data and the type is pie. After this, what we are doing is a little bit of enhancement. What we are doing is adding the layout with the title United States personal expenditure. And then we are apart from this, everything we are showing at first, like if you want to show the grid or the zero line or the show tick labels, which is sometimes meaningful for a bar chart, but not for high chart. But if you are interested in seeing what it is doing, what you can do is make all these false as true and get to see it in action. So let's execute this command, which is simple pie chart command. And here we get the simple pie chart with the legends that we have and then the relative values, the percentage values. All right, so after this, let's do a little bit of styling. So maybe like uh, what we can do is take all of these labels inside this and make it a little bit styled so that it is beneficial for our, for our end user from a reading perspective. So here is the command that I have already for you. What it is doing is initially the first three para, four parameters until the pi, as you can see, it is similar. But after this, few additional parameters we have added. So what we need is text position inside text info is equals to label plus percent. So this entire text information will come inside and the information will come as the label that is this plus the percent which is this. And then uh, the inside text font is white, simple. Hover info is this text. This is the command text is basically we are giving over here. And what we want is the dollar value of billions. After this, uh, we are making the marker colors as the default colors. We are making line color as white and we are giving a width of one. So it's like a break between the pies, different sections. So one, you can use two, three, four, depends on how you want a width between the two section of pie chart. And show legend is false because all of this information will come inside. 
And after this, again in layout, we are just specifying titles and making everything else as false. So let's go ahead and execute this. All right, and you have the chart in front of you. Uh, all of that information is coming inside. You have a little break of width one. If you increase the width, it will, you know, increase the, you know, size the area between the two pie sections. After this, you can see 86.8 billions as a label, which is coming from here. This formatting, the text that we have given, and we are passing this text parameter over here as a part of over info that means if i put my mouse over to any section then only this formatted text will come okay so so far so good um, straightforward i know initially it will look or it will give you a little bit of a daunting task of understanding all of these parameters but they are straightforward once you use it twice or thrice in your work after that, what I have is the donor chart. So for a donor chart, we are using the empty cars data set. And all of these examples are directly from Plotly. So I have not done much over here. It's just that apart from the explaining part. So if, if you are interested in viewing their site, it's equally beneficial and useful. And you can get all of these commands from there also. So just an information. So what we are doing is we are taking again the row names from empty cards so what we are doing here we have these row names and what we are taking is the unique name of the manufacturer in each of the row using the s apply command and adding the finally column manuf menu into the empty cards data set after that uh, we are using the uh, empty cards uh, some of the dpir command like group by summarize so that's why i've imported the library dpir and uh, what it is doing is first of all in empty cards data set group by the information by manufacturers that we have created above and then summarize their count and then after that go ahead and create a plotly chart using the manufacturer values and on the values use the count after that add a pie hole so what it is basically do is for a donor chart you have a hole inside the circle that's what it will going to do and then in layout what you are doing is simply specifying the title that's simply what you are doing and if i press Control enter it will produce the pie chart for me so this is mercedes fiat hornet master so the important part is this entire piece is simple you can configure it you know in a couple of minutes but uh, getting the data in the right format is the real challenge so i encourage you to really look into the data set before applying it to the plotly because you can have a lot of hours of frustrating time like me when I initially started using it, I got really frustrated because it was not giving me the expected results. And one of the reasons was that uh, I was not giving it the right data set or the data in the right format. And slowly, you know, when I started using it, started my trying hands with the, you know, different data sets, I got to know what, what really each chart needs and uh, how I need to configure it. So after this, uh, what you can do is you can, first of all, try all of these different commands uh, in the in, in your R Studio. I will put all of these commands uh, in the description of this video uh, as part of a link that is related to the uh, blogger website. Uh, the same information is posted over there so that you can copy and paste in case if you are finding it difficult uh, copying from here. And then um, further ahead, you can use the shiny uh, web application framework of R to really go ahead and uh, try all of these commands inside here. So you have shiny UI and R. And if you have not seen or if you are not aware about shiny, I really encourage you to look at some of my previous videos. Uh, specific to shiny as well as specific to plotly because in one of the very first video i talked about how you can create the automated chart like this the bar chart into the shiny and get 
everything automated quickly. So this is useful for doing the exercise as well as getting to know about the Shiny Web Application Framework. So that's an exercise which you can take. First of all, try the commands, each command in RStudio and then try each command in the Shiny and that will make you perfect in creating the Plotly pie charts. So that's pretty much all for this video and I will meet you in the new video with a new topic.